everyone emma from blessed void ministries here oh it has been so long since i have made a video um so i am excited to make this video um i will say from the start it mostly will be a long video um i will always try and keep my videos short but i feel this one will be a long one as i enjoy sharing with you um because i just want to obviously catch you up on some things um, and obviously I'm going to share um, this new freebie I enjoyed creating um, the other day and how I'm going to add it into my Bible. Um, so, yeah. Hi. <laughs> um, how are you all doing? Wow. What a few months it has been. Life here has been very up and down. I mean, obviously, if you journey with me in the Blessed Forward Bible Journaling um, group on Facebook, um, you will know that I've had things thrown at me over the last couple of months that I've had to deal with. Um, so that's why I haven't been around as much as I would normally be. Um, so like, obviously, if we all faced, you know, the COVID-19 um jauntlet as I was uh, call it um it's just been whoa and I am so thankful I have God on my side and God to give me the peace and direction and the comfort and stuff that I need um so obviously I've had issues like with my work it I lost all, like nearly all my income in just like a day because obviously I had to shut down and stuff and then I'm was able to start back work but we had all these new regulations and things we had to put into place and I had children not returning and because of it and yeah it's just been that was just a crazy time um, and then obviously we had a serious situation with one of my sons um, so we had to obviously I had to deal with him and sort him out um, then obviously we've now got the um, worries of exam results coming in because obviously the children didn't sit their exams here um, in the UK because obviously they couldn't so obviously tomorrow we get exam results for my eldest son and obviously his place is results will all be about his uni course he's hopefully going to go on we have just like started packing him up and getting him ready to go in a couple of weeks time and then my daughter gets hers next week ready to find out her college place uh so yeah we've had lots going on <laughs> here um it's been like woo up and down up and down mountains um but through it all i am so grateful that i have god on my side and god i can sit with and talk with and work things through with and and all sorts so yeah that's me that's why i'm at that's why i have not been about as much but i hope you're all well i pray you know that you're all doing okay uh, and yeah I'm excited to share this freebie I made so obviously I shared the other day I'm taking my own little personal journey um through this psalms um so I am doing a psalm a day for the next 30 weeks and um, so obviously I made myself I like to make myself these little plans um to just tick off and keep me on track and stuff when I set my own studies that I like to do so obviously these are available on my website if you think you would you would like to use them so obviously pop over and use them say download them for free print them off and use them in your own studies obviously the website is blessitforward.co.uk um, as you know you will or if you don't know if you've never joined one of my videos before you will find hundreds of freebies reading plans um, writing plans um, creative journaling freebies that you can use all sorts so go and have a look um over there so i um obviously did psalm one the other day and um well what i am doing is um i am just slowly taking my time through the psalms and i'm writing them out and adding notes as i go along the way so it is for me going to be a really slow journey that's why it's going to take me 30 weeks because <laughs> i want to do one a day but i always make like to make sure i give myself the weekends off um so I obviously can maybe catch up if I've had a busy day and missed a day or I can just sit and pray and chat with God about what I've been doing on the, you know, Monday to Friday as I look at the Psalms and things like that. You know, so, yes, I've set myself that little study I would like to do. But if I fall behind, it's never a problem. You know, there's more weeks in the year. <laughs> so um, we don't have to worry. Never put pressure on yourself when you're studying. Otherwise, it becomes a chore rather than a, you know, something you enjoy doing with God. Um, so, yeah, I created um, this freebie here. 
you can see. Well, I enjoy creating this. Obviously, I enjoy creating it to go into my Bible. Um, and I do like to, obviously, when I create things like this, quite often put them onto my website for you to download for free. So this is going to be added very, very shortly after this video. Um, so like I say, do low, go and have a look at the website and um, there's hundreds more freebies on there like this that you can enjoy using. Um, so yes, so I have created it for Psalm 1, um, 1 to 3. So obviously I'm going to turn to that in my Bible now for you. Um, so I'm just going to read obviously the Psalms. So Psalm 1. Blessed is the one who does not walk in step with the wicked or stand in the way that sinners take or sit in the company of mockers, but whose delight is in the law of the Lord and who meditates on his law day and night. That person is like a tree planted by streams of water, which yields its fruits in season and whose leaves does not wither. Whatever they do prospers. So I've based my little design I've done um, on that bit. Um, so I'm just going to click up my screen on my iPad because I took some notes that I'm just going to read, obviously, to you. So obviously, um, I've chosen to, I hope you can see anyway, I always say this when I do my videos, I hope you can see because obviously I'm not a professional. This is just my own personal journey with God and I use my iPhones to make my videos. Um, so I hope often forget that I've got a little screen and you might not be able to see. So anyway, from the bit I read and I felt like I was led to create while I was just sitting thinking about the thing, I took obviously delight in the law of the Lord, meditate on it day and night. Um, and then obviously I've got here at the side, a life planted in God prospers. Um, so obviously for the last few months, you know, as we've faced all this craziness and all these different things we've had to deal with as a family, you know, my, my, I have been planted in the word of God. I mean, I have been reading it, um, you know, day and night, like it says, you know, I have been in this. Um, I might not necessarily have been journaling in it as much as um, I would normally do, but I have been sat reading it and, you know, taking it in, praying, chatting with God. You know, I have been in this because um, I took some notes from a website and I, I'm sorry, I forgot to take the link for the website. So, um, and I read this passage that says a well watered tree or plant thrives. It has deep roots and is stable. So it takes a lot for this tree to tumble. When you are like a well watered plant in God's word, the troubles of life draw you closer to your source. You handle problems differently. You know, you have a confidence, you know, that you know, not because you've got a big ego and stuff, but that will bring you peace and you are sure of the, you know, that no matter of the situations you're going through, that God is on our side. He is with us. He's got this. He's, you know, so, you know, being in his word is what gives us the comfort we need during our hard times in life. And as we plant ourselves deep in his word, you know, our roots will go deeper in him. And we'll be able to stand more stronger and firmer in our struggles and know that no matter what comes at us, we, it might be hard. We might struggle, but ultimately it will all be OK because God is in control. So anyway, they're just my own personal thoughts. As I always say, I'm not a teacher of the word. They're just this is just my own personal journey and my own things that I get out of when I'm doing my journaling that I like to share. that hopefully encourage you. So I'm just going to add this in now. So hopefully you will stay with me. I know my video is going to be long, but hopefully you'll stay with me. So um, obviously designed this and printed it off. And then I have obviously cut it down. Um, so obviously do know when I do my free designs, I do have to design them based on the Bible I'm using. Um, so Obviously, hopefully they might not fit everybody's Bible, but hopefully you can still download and print and use things from it. Um, so obviously my Bible I've got here, I've done my own cover on it, but I can show you what Bible I'm using because I do have one that I haven't covered. Oh, everything's falling. <laughs> so I am using this um, Hannah Dunnett Bible, um, which is an NIV Bible. So just to show you, obviously, the sort of size of the Bible. Um, so you may have one similar. They do do other ones with 
um, similar size without that, um, without it being a Hannah Donette one. Um, but just so you can maybe Google and search the reference sizes to the page sizes. Um, so that is what size I have created this page for. Um, so as you will see, I am going to cheat and there is absolutely no worries with cheating and I'm going to trace this. I am always honest with people. I can design things on the computer. I have self-taught myself, taught myself to do this um, over the last eight years. I've enjoyed creating paper cut designs in that and so I will design on the computer um, and then I will print off and I will trace and there's absolutely nothing wrong with tracing. Um, so do not be afraid to do it. We are not all amazing freehand drawers. God made us all unique. God made us all different. And God gave me the wonderful ability to trace. And I love it. <laughs> um, so please never be afraid to trace. I mean, you can find many pictures on the internet. You could print off and trace and use in your journaling. So never let that worry you. So as you can see, I've fitted my design. So around the page I want to create on. So before... I get to that though. Um, I have pre-gessoed my page to save time. So obviously um, I'm using the Diana Wakely Clear Gesso. Um, I This is the brand I prefer to use, but there are other brands out there that are cheaper than this brand. I think this is one of the more top quality ones. Um, it's nice and smooth. It doesn't have any grit feel to it or anything like that. Um, so I, I this is just my personal preference. Obviously, you will have your own personal preference. Find your, you know, or if you don't use it yet and you want to use it, you will maybe experiment with different types and that's fine. I always apply it with a credit card. So obviously I will dab some onto my thingy and scrape it onto the page and use a hairdryer to dry it. So obviously that saves time on the video to do that. <laughs> um, let me just move things around. So I am just going to do a really simple entry. Um, normally I like to use chalks and water chalk paints and things like that to get creative. But today I'm simply going to use, um, I'm going to be using these lovely coloured pencils that were, they were a gift from my wonderful friend Marie. Um, so I'm just going to be using these and I will be using a couple of like um, fire liner pens. So that is why, and oh, these lovely jelly roll pens. These were also a gift from my wonderful friend, Marie. Um, so I love Marie, she's lovely. Um, yeah, so that is why I have gessoed my page because obviously it stops any bleed through from things like the fine liner pens and the jelly, jelly, are they jelly roll? Yeah, jelly roll pens. Um, so yeah, so let's get to it. Um, obviously, I don't know how this is going to turn out, so I always say this, I just go with the flow. If it turns out great, great. If it don't, then great. Because obviously this is all just part of the journey of being with God. When you create your Bible journaling, it's all about slowing down, taking your time, chatting with God. You know, it's just about spending time with him as you enjoy meditating on the verse that obviously you're creating for. Um, so, you know, if it goes wrong, you know, that's just part of the journey. You know, God will be trying to teach you something in that. So please never worry if you make mistakes and things like that. I've made plenty of mistakes. And yeah, at first it's heartbreaking and you're like, oh, no. Um, but God teaches you things when you make errors in your journaling. So, but yeah. So I'm going to use a light box to help me trace my design in. So this light box is just a cheap box I got from Amazon. So obviously I'm from the UK. Um, so uh, it cost me about £13. Um, so and things like that. Now you can use your iPad and iPhones and things to do something similar. Obviously I don't think you get as good as light quality but let me just see if I can show you but if you go to your iPad app store um, and stuff like that you can download a trace table so let me click on it again for you so it comes oh sorry there trace table it's called the one I use so you can um, <laughs> look I'm a childminder and I have a children's fun things I have to admit I often play these games just to Obviously, when I get bored. 
<laughs> without the children <laughs> but yeah anyway a little fun fact about me <laughs> you can all have a giggle um but yeah so you can just do something like that if you don't have one of these you can get it on your eye phone and your ipad and or if you use an android device or whatever so but obviously i've got a little light box um so obviously it doesn't always fit in properly but it is nice and thin and it just gives me enough space to be able to download what i can do so obviously i'm going to line my page up and i have designed it in a way that it fits all around the wording so i'm not going to cover up any of the wording um Obviously, sometimes I create nice backgrounds with, uh, like I say, chalks and paints and stuff. But for this one, I'm just I just want to have the plain white background. I'm happy to have it plain white. So that's all I'm going to do. So then what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to start tracing um, and I'm going to start tracing the leaf bit. So what I might do is um, because I can't quite get in this corner very well, um, because I'm not creating a coloured background, um, I might remove the light box and trace it in that way because I can see see it through without the light box. But obviously, it's not. It, it is better with the light box. It gives me more um, to be able to see it clearly. But yes, yeah, so I'm just going to simply trace. So what I do is, when I do this, I just simply, roughly do it. Now, I do apologise if I get in the screen or get in the way with my big head. And then I will go over and do it neatly. I'll see how it looks anyway. But for the video, I'm just going to roughly go over to show you. Because obviously this has got lots of little detail in it. So it would take some time to do. So obviously, if you're watching this video, I hope you will stay with me to the end. I don't know. It is quite a long video. But I just absolutely love making sure I show people how I create things. So obviously, you could use like things. So obviously, I'm finding this. I'm trying to dodge around the phone. Um, the phone... <laughs> is right in front of my forehead so i am like trying to dodge around it as i draw to make sure i get in and get a look at what i'm needing to draw it's really funny um well it's funny for me i'm laughing you must be but it is right in front of my forehead so i don't um knock you and make you seasick i'm kind of my head's going backwards and forwards and round and round to get an angle to look at what I'm tracing so like I say at this time um, I'm just trying to get in and do a rough trace so I've just got to move because I oh see I knocked it I just made you seasick there didn't I people there we go I can't quite see some bits when I can't get my head because sometimes you have to get your head right in so I'm all right getting these here look that's okay just so you can see but I wouldn't maybe necessarily there we go uh, Oh, I might have to put a bit of music on. Normally, I already have it on, um, but I started the video without having it on. I normally love my worship music, as you know, and I end up singing for you poor people. <laughs> um, and my singing voice isn't the best. I love worship absolutely love giving it some welly bob but <laughs> my singing my singing tune is very untuneful <laughs> so um i just had a thought i am tracing down at the bottom here and you might not be able to see there we go i forget see what i mean that it doesn't always fit in the screen as you can see i'm literally just going 
round roughly and then I will tidy it up afterwards so that is all my leafy bits oh, and I just wiggled it so it's all come out of the line but it doesn't matter you can easily reline it back up just like that but there we go what am I like wiggle wiggle but yes yeah, so then I'm just going to grab the greens I want so I'm going to I've got obviously different coloured greens here I'll just pop them there and then obviously I'm going to quickly do some of the leaves so I'm just going to roughly choose leaves and do them different colours so because obviously I've wiggled it you can put a paper clip on it to stop it from wiggling but I didn't so I just need to reline it up but it doesn't matter if it doesn't line up properly because I will tidy it up as I say and make some of my lines thicker and things like that when I'm doing it neatly because when I trace I literally just do some simple lines to know what I need and then I will tidy it up I think we'll have them all the same color so I'll go back there I'll have these little ones so I mean here in the UK at the moment we are having some super nice hot weather it's my kind of weather I'm absolutely loving it my eldest son here he's 14 He's out in the paddling pool. Um, at the moment, he filled up the paddling pool this morning. Um, and he's just soaking in it, chilling. He's got um, his some treats by his side. Um, he's got a cool kind of fizzy pop. <laughs> and he's just chilling like he's on holiday. <laughs> Bless him. So I think I'm happy with that leaf. I'm going to do some with this leaves. So like I say, I'm having to keep relining it back up because it keeps wiggling out of the way. And I can't seem to reline it all back up. But don't, you know, just keep doing what I'm doing. Like so. And keep... Keep... Um, I'll do for that one on that one. Mm -hmm. Just need to reline that back up a little bit. There we go. La 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 la. Getting into those little bits there is. I am finding that a little awkward, but it'll be okay. Mm hmm. I've done with relining that up, but I think I managed. Let me re reline that one back up. It will teach me to put the paper clip on like I normally do. I normally put a paper clip on. I blame my forgetful brain. I'm one of these really forgetful people, actually. I am terrible. I am very forgetful. Ooh, I think I irritate my friends sometimes. I'm so forgetful. <laughs> So if you're using this, you know, you can do what I'm, um, obviously trace the leaves and things like that, like this. Um, but you might, you can easily go in and add your own leaves if you just want to trace the main outline of the branches or, you know, if you just want to trace some of the leaves, you, you know, you can add your own leaves because it's really easy to make a leaf shape. Um, so you might not want to trace all the leaves. I don't think I'm going to trace many more, to be honest. Um, I think I will add them in. And you can just use the, the design and see where you need to add them in. So that will do for that. So that's all I'm going to do now for that. And obviously, in a minute, I will move it away and tidy it up. Um, so 
and that's what I like to do. So I like to do things bit at a time when I create mine. Can you see they're on there? Um, so what I will do is I will go back and tidy them. So whenever I use um, colouring, I like to put a thick bit of card underneath. So obviously my colouring doesn't um, mark through onto the other pages. So, so what I'm going to do now is I'm hoping you can still see. I'm always hoping you can still see. I will go round and tidy this up like this. So obviously what I'm going to do is, because I know this video will go on, like really, it will go on and on and on and on. It'll be, a, you'll be fed up with me. You will. I'm just going to tidy up one. And what I will say is, come and find the photo on the, obviously in the Blessed Forward Ministries Bible Journaling Group or on the Blessed Forward Ministries Facebook page to see the finished page. Otherwise, you will be here till Christmas. Um, as you can see, as I tidy it up, it looks much nicer. And then, like I was just saying about the leaves, so what color leaves could I go for? Um, you can obviously put it next to you and you can see I've got the three leaves there. There's a leaf there and there that I haven't done. And you can add them in yourself and color them in like so obviously when I go through the leaves I will tidy them up and make them look like so as you can see it's looking much better that one little bit so obviously I will and that's what I do I just obviously go around use the shape I've obviously traced to tidy it up make it look neater so I mean obviously when you're tracing obviously I, you can do it neat straight away it's completely up to you but I like to do it this way just because obviously when you have got the light box and the lighting underneath, it does really make it look different. But hopefully you can see there how I am working this. There we go. I'm really liking this. I think it's looking good. Ah, make sure you're in the frame for the... So obviously that is that first one done. As I say, you can add in more leaves. Um, I'm not going to add in any more for now. So that is that one done. And then I will do obviously the same up here. Mm -hmm. Round and round we go. <laughs> That's the childminder in me, that is. Singing. So obviously, as you can see on this one, I've only added in one leaf there, one leaf there. So I, I'm going to add in that leaf there, that is there, and it's really easy to do. So you just do like you're doing two brackets joining together, like so. And I'm happy with that. Right, I keep humming, keep humming and humming. <laughs> right, and then just going to. Right, so what I might have to do because of this corner here, again, because obviously getting things right into the thing, it is a bit awkward when you want to have your mat underneath because normally you're mainly creating the 
side here, don't you? And the margin. But obviously I'm wanting, because obviously you've got nice extra space on this with the Psalms. It's nice to get use that extra space. And obviously I'm, I have different Bibles with different things. Um, so obviously in this Bible, I won't cover up the words. So obviously I'm creating around the words. I have other Bibles where I do cover up the words, but this will be my Bible that I would take to church and things like that. So I want to be able to read the words to follow along to any verses that we were looking at in church. I think I'm okay to move that back now. There we go. Getting there slowly, but surely. <laughs> And I'm just aware my head might be in the shot. I don't know if it was or not. I apologise. Get a nice view of my head. There we go. So I've tidied that one up. I think what I might do is I might just go around and tidy up all the browns. Make them nice so they stand out and what I'm going to do is make sure I get right into my page so obviously it's right in there do it with that one as well right in there So I need to add my leaves on this one. I haven't added many leaves. I haven't traced many. But like I say, they're dead easy to get on. I'm hoping you're getting a really good idea of how this is going to work. You know, as you in you know create on your pages as well, do not worry if they get crinkled or wrinkled. Um, because when your Bible's closed, over time they flatten out. Um, plus they add a bit of character to your page you know that it is not flat and pristine it adds a bit of character as well so just roll with it and know that eventually they will flatten out anyway as your pages are closed or your pages your bible even is closed um, so I hope I'm still in shot. Yeah, I keep checking. I keep having a peep at the phone above my head. So obviously I can't really use the thing along this edge. So I'm trying not to push too hard. I'm just going over and over again. So I hopefully don't get too many marks on the other pages. And obviously when I can put it back, I will do. So, I keep turning it around, make sure I'm staying in shot for you. So, obviously, like I say, I'm not a professional when I make these videos. Um, I just use what I have, manage with how I can create things, but hopefully you're still encouraged, you're still inspired, uh, and that's the main point of these videos is that they're not perfect but they're here to just encourage you and inspire you to to so there we go that is that done so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave covering all the leaves in because obviously you've got a really good idea of how I did it up there and I think one of the colours I need is just rolled down the behind the back of the desk so after the video, I will be getting on my hands and knees, crawling under the desk, trying not to bang my head um, to fetch it. <laughs> um, but like I say, I will encourage you to come along to my Facebook page or group to see the finished bit. So now I am going to trace in the wording. I'm not going to use the light box for this because as you can see, um, I can see it quite clearly and I'm just, I'm happy to trace it in. Right, what I'm going to start with, First is I'm going to start with this bit here. 
and I'm using my um, fine liner pen. So I'm, I'm going to find this a bit, or I'm going to try and bring it as close to me as I can and keep it in shot for you and uh, trace the letter in like so. Obviously what I will do is as well, when I do this, I do go back and I do rewrite over the words and make them a little bit thicker. But when I'm initially tracing, I just do one go over. Obviously don't worry if it does start looking wonky, it doesn't look as perfect as the copy underneath because it's meant to go like that. <laughs> It won't look, you know, perfect. There we go. A life planted in God prospers. Whoop. So there we go. I hope you could see that. I hope I didn't get my head in the screen or anything. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the words. Um, and I am going to use some different coloured words, most probably. And again, I do the same when I um, trace the letter in. I will just do it roughly and then I will go back over it. So I just try and make sure I get the thickness to it that I need. So do light. Obviously, I will in, go over that again in a minute. There we go. And see, this bit is much quicker. <laughs> uh, I, obviously, if you're watching this video and you are bearing with it, because I know it's long. Thank you. Bless you. <laughs> there we go. Like I say, it's, I normally have music, um, but I forgot to switch it on. So normally, like when I'm doing these bits and I go quiet, you can enjoy the music with me. I'm just gonna have a peep because I think of yeah that bit needs to be thicker um because obviously I'm not using my light box so I haven't got like I say when you use a light box it does give you a clearer view so obviously there we go mm -hmm. I think I've accidentally you throw my pen um smudged it a bit there so obviously as you can see when I'm tracing I'm trying to be careful not to rub it because it will smudge it a little bit but I failed there but it doesn't matter like I say you know when you make little mistakes like that just embrace them don't you know don't get yourself all upset and over it because you're, you would have still been having, you know, a really great time with God being creative and soaking in his word. So don't let it worry you. I'm just going to tuck this in a bit more. I think it's come out a bit. Um...
Looking good, I'm liking this. I'm just going to check what I need to do there. That's it. There we are. And I go. I can hear my children's phone, one of my children in the kitchen. Um, and his phone is just constantly going beep, 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 beep with messages from his mates. My phone never goes beep, 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 beep as much as his does. <laughs> Meditate on it. So, day. Um, there we go. Oh, don't know what happened there. That just, my tin just fell shut on my arm. They make so oh. My little journaling corner isn't the biggest corner. Day and night. Right, so that is that bit done. So what I'm going to do, obviously I've got the sun and the moon there. And what I want to do is, obviously I don't want to smudge anything. Um, I'm going to get my jelly roll pens and I want to trace around them to give them just to make them stand out a bit more on the design. So I'm just going to trace the sun. So obviously these jelly rolls are really nice pens. They have got their glitter so they shine. Like so. And then I'm just going to do the cloud, obviously, in some silver. Mm -hmm. Right, so there we go. Oh, don't do what I've just done and smudge it, but I will see. I will go over it all again neatly in a minute. Oh, and the moon. We want the moon, don't we? To be silver. And then I've got some little stars. There we go. Oh, one of my stars went a bit wonky, but there we go, it's okay. I'll sort it out in a minute. There we go. Right, so that is that done. And I will remove that. So obviously, like I say, you do have to be really careful because it they are they will smudge um, because the obviously ink in the pens will smudge. And um, so obviously, I'm getting there slowly for you. And um, hopefully, you're getting a really good idea there of how. Um, I enjoy tracing and adding the designs I create for free into my Bible. Um, obviously, the video has gone on really long. Um, so what I'll do is I'm going to stop it here. And as I say, come and see the finished page um, on the Facebook page or in the Blessed Forward Bible Journal community. Um, so, yeah, hopefully you just find this encouraging. And um, it's it's been really nice to connect and with you and share with you again and um, hopefully I will do another one soon but shorter much 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 shorter <laughs> um, so yeah um, hopefully you're encouraged take care god bless you love you all and we'll see you soon bye